Hey Pisces, how you doing? This is Dream Moose Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Pisces. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watchers, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. And greatly appreciated. There's no time, no gender, and tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe, because you just never know when you need to hear this. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, I hope you guys are feeling good, feeling positive. All right, it's Tuesday, okay? Three more days, three more days closer to what? Friday. All right, well, two more days if we skip today since it's already here, right? Okay, but um, yeah, let's get into your reading. Ancestors, angels, universe, any messages you would like for me to relay back to the sign of Pisces, please and thank you. All right? first card that came out is the nine of swords okay not to worry not to worry the time that you have served whatever karma whatever it is that you've done whatever it is that you held on to whatever burdens that you have held and held on to people like for people to carry or for you to carry those times are over, are coming to an end, all right? With this two of wands, some of you guys are patiently waiting, all right, for good fortune, for good news, okay? Something about traveling, all right? Finding a different type of serenity, okay? Some of you guys been in a dark storm for quite some time and that you're needing a sign that's saying that it's soon to be over. Know that this is the sign here, okay? You have been carrying burdens that weren't yours to carry, yet you carried them feeling as if they was yours. And sometimes we will hurt ourselves trying to hold on to certain people, places, or things because it seems familiar. It seems comfortable, okay? You feel like this person loves you. You feel like this person adore you. You feel like this place is your safe haven. And then start realizing that this place was your catalyst to a new beginning, a catalyst to your strength, a catalyst to your wisdom. So you surrender now. You allow the universe to show you and take lead to your path instead of being so, what, controlling. Because not only did you allow others to control you, you also tried to control the way that the universe works with you. But it doesn't work that way. You had to understand through storms that there are better days ahead, but I have to get through this storm in order to understand when those better days come and not to take them for granted. And this is the challenges that you're facing right now. And these are the challenges that you will understand soon why you had to go through them. Why did you have to overcome those challenges alone? Even when you cried out for support, even when you cried out for just a little bit of a chance for someone to hear you, no one didn't. Or even if they did, it seemed so, um, it didn't seem real. It seemed fabricated. So now you're understanding that it took you to get out of that hole. It took you to get out of that dark space. It didn't take anyone else to do it for you. That's why you'll know and understand this time around what not to do, what you won't allow. And what you won't continue to stand for because it seems so good at the time. See, we need to get over that whole moment type and the comfortable type and realize our own strength. Because we'll see strength in other people that they won't see strength in themselves because they're not going to want to see the strength. They're not going to want you to see the strength in you. So while they are distracted distracting you you hear me while they're distracted distracting you that's why they don't know their growth they don't know their worth because they're busy trying to distract you from knowing your worth so understand that these storms is going to pass but you got to understand what you learn from it you got to take what you have been through and use it as a vessel to your growth those challenges are not to break you, but for you to face it head on. Believe in yourself, because I do. Till next time, namaste.
peace.